Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of Mind Magic 5 Tribes of the East. It's the second campaign, second scenario, no first scenario. <laughs> Is it first or second? I forget. I think it might be the second. Anyway, it's the third episode in any case. Totally not sure. Last Soul Standing is the first one, right? Yes, it must be the first one. First scenario of the second campaign. And we meet again uh, where we were an episode ago. If you remember, I was attacking some hounds right here last episode. But this time we can go into the one-way entrance monolith because we um, have fulfilled all the prerequisites. Mended the key found upgrades and what not we have some decent army 95 vampire lords 100 specters 30 and 60 and 300 of all of these so we go to the and we have all the power-ups right as well visited 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 yes we have all the power-ups we have upgraded our creatures we go you were right about the key my lord giovanni the way to Illuminadine is now free. What's the next course for this banquet? Fools! This is madness. Are you also in league with demons? <laughs> Malfroy, old friend, calm yourself. It is me, Giovanni, not some horned fire spurting demon lord. Blasphemous sorcerers from the Silver Cities have taken control of Illuminadine. I built this portal to lock them inside and spare the rest of my fight their depredations. Now you've just opened the cage to set free the Hellhounds. Malfoy, as a host, you were without equal. As a strategist and death lord, you are without merit. I shall receive you, Malfroy. Onward, Onella, and keep your troops out of the wine cellar. Interesting. Now let's visit that, let's visit this. And as they say, onwards, right? Okay, these guys want to join me? Sure. Let's take uh, Pathfinding, Dead Man's Curse, Expert Dark Magic, I don't know, Defense. Let's take Defense as well. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fine. Plus two luck. There's uh, lots of uh, pit lords and plus two attack. Do I want to do that? No. <laughs> I don't. This ends here. I want the Marletto Tower. So let's go there. You can actually go here as well, can't you, and bring me more troops. It would be possible, right? Leave them. We anyway have reached our level cap and we don't want to get uh, our luck destroyed just like that. Horned Overseers and some Magic Scroll of Summon Elementals. Let's get that, please. Oh. Okay, well, we have been fighting now. That is less than optimal, but we have a scroll. And we have, for some reason, 40 hit points. Uh, yeah, about 2000 hit points Dark Raiders. Not bad. But minus 3 morale. Oh yeah, the scroll. 
can either have Frenzy or Summon Elementals. I think we'll take Summon Elementals because uh, I have Frenzy already, don't I? Yeah, I do have Frenzy. So let's continue. No problemo, I don't want more of them. Already at maximum. So I don't need these guys either, I guess. Succubi. We can just go after the city, basically. Yeah. Succubi. We can prepare ourselves. And bring us a few more... Nah, this army should be enough. Okay. It will be a long fight, looks like it. Lots horde. Throng, throng, lots, throng. Okay. That really might be not that great. Okay, let's try. Okay, so uh, how about you here, you here, no, you here, no, you here, you here, you here, you there, you there, right there, right there. Something like this. If they come forward, I want my shooters to be able to shoot. This guy might go there, do some damage. You, I don't know, you are fine. Yeah, let's try like this. Okay, this is already great because... Uh, because... And wait. Hmm, I wonder. I'll probably just shoot at them a little bit first. Or maybe go here, okay. And you can hit them and uh, put some spells on them. Or you can try them Try them crazy. Who goes first? You go first. And then... Then these guys. But he will go before them. Let's try Frenzy nevertheless. Nice. Nice. Twenty six OMG. Now that was not fun. Come here. Come closer. They miss. Excellent. They hit, unfortunately. You go next, you go there. He goes next, then these go, then these go. So first we need to kill them. Yes. Very nice. You were fodder anyway. You can now... Oh, nice. Plus 17, just like that. Crazy. And these guys are... F 
fighting each other. That's perfect. We might want to do Frenzy again. Yes, excellent. Now... It would be nice if you had uh, also... Very good. Yeah, our uh, vampire lords know how to do this. <laughs> Let's uh, go after them, just like this. This no problem, wow. That was crazy. Miss? No. <laughs> well, they don't do much damage anyway. All are dead. That's how we like them first. We still need to deal with them though. So first them. Then uh, let's try vulnerability on them. Deflected on my guys, OMG. Okay. I'll go away. Or something. Ouch. Let's kill them. Bitfin hits first aid tent. Oh, they were still... <laughs> they were still under the influence. Okay. Hit them. Okay, unfortunately I can't get there just enough. Uh, slow suffering. Yeah, let's make them suffer. Okay, and let's make them weak as well. Uh, goes to skeleton archers, fine, why not? Weakness on arch liches, I don't mind. You can all defend, I guess. That hurt, but not too much. This will hurt you more. Oh, wow, only four. Okay, so that will take some time, I guess. Yep, that will take some time. <laughs> All right. But uh, they can't, in any way imaginable, defeat uh, 100 uh, guys that get lucky, don't retaliate um, and everything, yeah, they are just dead. They are just dead. Can I go through now? Yes, I can. Come here. Nice. And full again. I think you might do the job. Six to seven. Bye. Victory. The enemy has been defeated. We lost a lot, but not too much. 
Okay, I don't actually care. 720. Okay, we could take 25. That's nice. You have served Asha well, Lord Giovanni, and in her name, I accept your offering. Heresh will again be the fulcrum that guarantees her balance. My lands and legions are at your service, Lord Arantia. Asha uses all. Asha uses all. Might I call your attention to the exploits of Lady Ornella, my apprentice, who felled the gates of Illuminadine? She is my gift of allegiance to you. Giovanni! I have heard of her resourcefulness. Are you ready, child, to join us? Serving Asha for eternity or until the final death? Yes, High Lord Arantir. It is my deepest desire. Then soon it will be both your deepest and your only desire. Take your place at the center of Asha's web. Stand alone there, and soon you shall join our endless host. Asha, spinner of death, completer of life. Accept this servant's desire and leave her only will beyond life. Beyond death, embrace Ornella, Death Lord of Asha. Fool, you thought I did not know of your murderous ambition? You were such a feeble acolyte, always buried in your books, who taught you to master such power. There's power to be found in books, if first you learn humility. I surrendered to Asha. Her will is my own, and her plans for Haresh don't include the petty and faithless. <sighs> She'll receive me all the same. It is her way. I'll find you in the next life and smite your soul. Asha uses all. Master Arantir, I... I'm at a loss. I didn't know. You are clever, child, but too easily duped by a frivolous and foolish master. You have much to learn. Should I bind your soul to a decaying body? An obedient ghoul you would make. High Lord, allow me to do penance. Let me prove my devotion to Asha. Asha uses all, even the living during their brief and ignorant lifetimes. Very well. Tell me why there were demons here. In Haresh. The troubles in Aluma Nadin were caused by the Silver Cities. Demon worship grows unhindered in the Wizard Lands. The name Menelag was pronounced on several occasions. Menelag? Hmm. A renowned scholar of the Silver Cities. I've read his writings on the demise of demons and the origin of orcs. It is time to pay our neighbors a visit. As for you, my child, Servants will take you to Narankar, where your spirit shall be further purged in the crucible of the goddess. Asha uses all. Now oh, look at that. Isn't that sweet? So we could make her... We could make her... Could give her the final ability of the necromancer. So let's take basic summoning magic and Banshee Howl. Basic enlightenment is something we need as well, I think. And uh, Master of Life. 
We need Master of Life. And Master of Conjuration as well. Let's take this one. Okay, we need Scholar, I believe. Yes, Advanced Summoning Magic. Advanced Enlightenment or... Uh, hmm, or Master of Conjuration. I might have uh, done a mistake here as well, not to take the Necromancer skills. Because now she has everything, but uh, I didn't level up the other things. Yeah. Advanced Necromancy, Arcane Exaltation. Dark magic. Ha. So many things. Okay. I don't know if uh, if we can do it. Because we need advanced necromancy next. I should have taken necromancy where I when I could. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll try nevertheless. Demon worshippers walking Ashan soil. This must stop. I shall destroy them before their power takes root. Asha, give me guidance as I take your legions into the Wizard Kingdom, land of faithless magic, birthplace of the valiant orcs, slayers of demons. Valiant orcs, slayers of demons. Worshippers of worthless magic or something like that? Wow. Okay. Mission 2, the Grim Crusade. I think we'll be able to read about this later. Let's take the four-leaf clover and start. Corpse lover, idiot believer in incomplete prophecies, prepare for your final death. Oh, they don't give me a break, do they? Well, hello there, Arantir. Looks like you have uh, something to do. Let's try like this. Yeah, this should actually not be such a problem. Level 11, but no skills, and you are level 1, Arantir. <laughs> okay. Let's wait. What can you do? Avatar of Death. The hero can summon a mysterious creature upon the battlefield to fight on his side. The creature power... It depends on the hero's level. If the creature dies, the hero will lose all his mana points. Wow. Not that we care too much. Do it. Whoa! Crazy. Avatar of Death. 170 hit points. Whoa! That was unexpected. What did you do to me? Slow and fire. That was totally unexpected. <laughs> Just defend. Oh, you can kill only one? OMG. Okay, go back. 
Oh no! <laughs> we might totally lose this. Slow on them, maybe? I don't know. Start killing at least a few of them. Oh, and freaking G. We totally lost. We will have to replay this. <laughs> Okay, well, that's fun. Let's wait. Right. Now you're dead. 21 damage dealt and 12 damage received. I think we are dead. Totally dead. Sorry, you have failed the mission. Thank you. Okay, I guess we'll uh, start it again. We have some time. Demon worshippers walking Ashan soil. This must stop. I shall destroy them before their power. T Corpse lover, idiot. Yeah, sure. We have heard that. Now come and fight like a man. Let's see. Hmm. So one raised death or the avatar. The avatar didn't do much to be honest. But it's better than nothing. Let's do the avatar again. Crazy. <laughs> oh no, no, no. It 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 made them do this again. Oh, no, come on. Come on. So I can't do that, okay. Demon worshippers walking a chance. Corpse. I'm so gonna hit you hard. We might actually need that... Um, okay, so you will be... You will be here. And you will be like this. Will he do still the same? Okay, at least he's not killing all my creatures, right? He'll eventually run out of mana. How can we do so little damage? Like, what's going on? If I do this now, he will go. And that will not be good for us. I can tell you that. Let's try anyway. Yeah, he attacked all... All of them. Good job, now he can't do that anymore. I should probably resurrect a few. Maybe them.
Does he still have mana? He might still have mana. Not much. Hmm. Defend. Okay. might be very close. Oh nice, this will help a lot. One luck is all we need, right? And who needs Avatar of Death? Go, go, go! You're almost there. Oh, another luck. There we go. Cool. How opportune. You were heading north to Heresh. What was your purpose? Speak or I shall bind your soul to a dung fly. I was escorting reinforcements to my brothers in Illuminadine. We have taken up residence temporarily in the city. Your lease on Illuminadine has expired, as have the lives of your brothers who are now before Asha explaining their impertinence. Now tell me, ignominious one, who is the head of your depraved movement? We are inspired by the Lord Orlando. He is the hierophant of our cult. He's gone underground. A demon within my grasp. I shall find this coward of chaos and send him back to the Sheog from which he came. As our swords conquer this land, our ears must listen for sounds of corruption. Monstrosities from Sheog are easy to fight. Belief is a far more difficult beast to slaughter. The leader of the demon cultists must be found before his foul words taint a shan to its core. Really? The necromancers are fighting uh, the devils? Who would have said that, right? <laughs> anyway, we have Arantir, level 1 necromancer. How can he be level 1, you know, if he's so powerful? Ring of the Unrepentant, immunity to Word of Light. Okay. Basic Necromancy, basic summoning and basic dark magic. I assume they want me to go after the ultimate then? Yeah, he has the avatar of death. The hero can summon a mysterious creature upon the battlefield to fight on his side. The creature's power depends on hero's level. If this creature dies, hero will lose all mana points. Okay. Have anything here? No. Maybe we can have two uh, heroes with necromantic specialty. It's pretty good. The Lords of Haresh are called Grim and Fanatic Group. To climb high in their ranks requires not only talent, but also relentless dedication to the cause of their god, the spider aspect of Asha. Arantir has risen high indeed and counts uh, as one of the greatest ever to live or unlive among them. Intense in his beliefs and dedicated to the worship of his goddess and the destruction of her demonic enemies, Arantir is a formidable leader. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So we have a town. And I should probably end the episode, by the way. Zombies, tavern, marketplace, mage kid level 1. We can do basically everything. We can't do vampires. We can do the Shrine of Netherworld and that. Why can't we do the vampires? Can do the liches, can do them, can do everything except for... 
boost dragon growth. Yeah, can be done as well. So everybody except for vampires, interesting. Very cool. We'll take that, no. We'll take that though. And um, probably upgrade them or something. Let's check what our uh, goal actually is. Haresh has now been united under the leadership of Asha's chosen Arantir. The High Lord has accomplished the will of Asha, but the capture of Illumanadin confirmed his suspicions. Asha called him for a greater task. Demons now walk the soil of Ashan and they are supported by corrupt sorcerers from the Silver Cities. Arantir must now unleash his legions of undead into the lands of the wizards to root out the taint of chaos before he ca it can become a true threat to the balance of Asha. Send undead to the sor to the corrupted sorcerers to fight chaos. I don't know. Heroes 5 really likes their necromancers, I guess. Arantir must find the source of corruption seeping out of the Silver Cities. The wizards of this land have sworn their loyalty to the children of Urgash. Demon taint must be wiped clean, and to do that Arantir must discover its true source and seal the breach, which is written with A, not E, uh, that has allowed chaos to chance uh, uh, has allowed chaos a chance to seep into Asha. Defeat the local demon leader is the other thing we have to do so much <laughs> having discovered that the wizard charged with reinforcing illuminadine was but a mere pawn of some greater power arantir decides to backtrack his route and discover who was giving orders arantir must find the leader of the demon cult quickly and discover the extent of his plans the balance of the balance of ashan is at stake the underground seems to be the logical place to start his search Okay. Very well. Think we need to visit the Seer's hut, the tethered flag, and after that we'll go left. But for now, it's enough for this episode. When we come back, we'll continue campaign two, scenario number two, playing as our tier. For now, I thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.